Hey there, so if you watched my last video, which hopefully you did, I unboxed two very cool things that I uh, picked up at HMV. If you don't know what they are, just go check back in the video before that. Please give it a like and, uh, and give it a watch. Now, I'm going to do my film noir collection. So when I come back here, I'm going to go through the, uh, the film noirs that I got. Uh, there's a few of them that I think are uh, out of print now, to be honest with you. I'm not quite sure which ones are all out of print. I know that there's a couple sets that I got that are, because uh, I watched Logan Toxic video where he's doing a set of print videos, and a couple of sets that I had actually showed up in his video there. So, uh, and then again, me and Logan have a lot of the same taste when it comes to these type of films, like when it comes to Dr. Drew and Film Noir and stuff like that. When I come back, we're going to delve into the uh, shadowy, dark, and uh, very beautifully cinematographed. Film noir. Hey there, so film noir happens to be one of my favorite genres of film. Yeah, I love so many different genres of film. A film, a film noir is one that I keep coming back to. Uh, recently, actually, OP0909, if you haven't checked out his videos, you really, really should, because he's definitely on the rise. Uh, he picked up uh, one that uh, I talked about on my channel a lot, so that's one I'm going to get out of the way first, and that is the uh, Criterion. It's called Kiss Me Deadly. Uh, stars Ralph Meeker. It is a fantastic film noir. It's probably one of my all-time favorites. And uh, there are some great, great features on this. Robert Aldrich directed this. Uh, I love the kind of the old school type of uh, cover that they use for the uh, for this here, kind of like the uh, kind of like the pulp type cover. Uh, Criterion did an amazing job on this. This is back when Criterion's actually made really great booklets and didn't just give you like a pamphlet uh, type of thing. And uh, you got to say, I do love this one. Great features on this one. Awesome stuff to watch. It's a really immersive experience. Definitely check out Kiss Me Deadly. This is a one that you don't have. It is like, for me, it's like step one. I want to come to comes to a lot of these film noirs. But there's gonna be some awesome like stuff and sets that I'm gonna show you, and some stuff that I'm not sure if they are in or out of print. You guys, if you know, you can let me know, uh, because I just pick up movies that I love, and that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, first off is one. It's a Classic collection, uh, the film noir collection. It's a double feature, and it has Illegal and The Big Steel. Uh, when you think of film noir, Robert Mitchum's name is there a lot, so you're going to see like uh, a lot of different Robert Mitchum stuff. I really do like Robert Mitchum. I think this was part of one of the later film noir box sets, uh, and probably was taken right from it. So I'm not sure if this one got a. Yeah, we got commentaries in this one here. We got a vintage behind the camera segment. And a new featurettes, legal, marked for life, and the big steel look behind you. Not sure if I watched those yet. Uh, I did pick this one up at an airport uh, store on my way to uh, to Montreal one time. I actually picked this one up with, uh, I think it was my first trip to Montreal. I was into uh, Nova Scotia. And we had like a stopover, so I went in there and they had like some movies and that. And that's what I picked up. Of course, I have to have the, uh, the classic three-disc edition of the Maltese Falcon. Uh, is this film noir? I do consider it film noir, especially the way that uh, that it ends. It is a uh, fantastic film. This, of course, is the three disc uh, edition, so we have three versions of the Maltese Falcon on here. Of course, you have the classic one that everybody knows, the 1941 film. A new digital transfer is on this one here. But we also get like the Maltese Falcon, the 1931 with Ricardo Cortez. He did like a lot of movies. A very different look at uh, Sam Spade uh, with uh, Ricardo Cortez. He's a very different style of actor than Humphrey Bogart and I can see he's a good actor in other roles but he doesn't really doesn't really suit this role yet. well let's just say he puts a, a totally different spin on what the character is and of course there's the uh, the Betty Davis one which is uh, Satan Metal Lady and uh, again there are some awesome features on here we've got Warner Night movies where they have like short subjects and uh, cartoons there's a commentary by Eric Lax Bogart's uh, personal biographer uh, what's really cool is Robert Osborne hosts Becoming Attractions, The Trailers of Humphrey Bogart, uh, which is, uh, there's a new documentary called The Maltese Falcon, One Magnificent Bird. It's really worth picking up. Uh, this one I picked up 
at my uh, local uh, Kohl's bookstore when they actually used to carry films. The next ones are part of a series. I uh, actually grabbed this from a, uh, he was a movie reviewer, and uh, he would gotten a lot of these uh, along the way, and he had like gotten double copies of the stuff. So, this is the Fox Film Noir Collection. So I have a few of these, and I have them all. So this one here, and I'm doing them in totally out of order. Uh, more like, no, this is number one. Is Laura, with of course Dean Tierney and Dane Andrews. Fantastic little film, and again, these do have features on them. You've got an extended movie version on here with Audrey opening. There's two commentaries on here. One is with Rudy Bilmer, uh, some documentaries, uh, Dean Tierney documentary, and Vincent Price documentary. When I say documentaries, that's actually, if you ever watch the show Biography, that's their biography episodes are on here. So uh, really, really cool to have those, by the way, and deleted scenes. But the, uh, aside from the film itself, there's a, this one actually has a booklet with it as well. Uh, the uh, I love the fact that uh, they included the uh, the documentaries on there. That was a really cool addition. Next up is No Way Out. This has, of course, Richard Widmark uh, and uh, yes, it is. Is it Sidney Poitier? I think in this one, right? Yeah, it is Sidney Poitier. I remember this one. This actually this one was set in hospital, I think. Yeah, I like this one. So. No Way Out as a commentary by Eddie Muller. We've got a, a stills gallery against the Fox movie tone. News, movie star, and dual roles. Richard Woodmark puts his imprint in cement. Uh, Woodmark is just one of those uh, guys that's really, really good at playing the villains. Uh, he's in one of my very favorite uh, film noirs of all time. And do I have it here? I think I do have it here somewhere. I don't think it's here. Well, i got to get it upgraded anyway. And the movie's Kiss of Death, which was remade by, uh, of course, uh, Nicolas Cage and uh, David Caruso. The less we say about that one, the better. Next up is the classic, another Dane Andrews, Gene Tierney one, Where the Sidewalk Ends. If you haven't seen this one, I do recommend it. This one comes with a uh, commentary as well. And uh, see the... I started to put, like, things on where the first one just didn't have, just had a picture. Uh, you know, just had the Fox thing on it. These are actually have like uh, have picture discs with the Fox film or logo on them. Uh, again, fantastic uh, stuff on these, like great commentaries. I love the commentaries on some of these here. They're some of the best commentaries on these, actually. Ah, and I do have it, so yeah. Kiss of Death, Victor Mature, Brian Dunleavy, uh, Colin Gray, but uh, the total star of this one is definitely the evil, evil Richard Woodmark, of course. He does an amazing job. Uh, though I do think that Victor Mature is highly underrated as an actor, and he did some great stuff. Uh, but because he's a bigger, blockier type of guy, I think that uh, people tended to overlook his uh, the stuff that he did in cinema. And again, this is a a fantastic, fantastic documentary. Documentary. Why do I keep saying documentary? A uh, fantastic film noir that really, really belongs in anybody's collection. Great, great movie. Kiss of Death. Again, we got a commentary on this one as well. Stills Gallery Static Trailer. Can't go wrong with any of that. Next up is another classic. Ilya Kazan did this one, and it is Panic in the Streets. Uh, there is a remake of this one. Again, Richard Widmark <laughs> stars in this one, Barbara Bell Geddes. Uh, and looking at the cover there, you see that? The kind of the remake of this one stars Dolph Lundgren. And you can kind of see like how why they would choose Dolph Lundgren for that role. Because that looks very Dolph lundgren right there on that cover. Uh, again, uh, another great one. And does it have... Yeah, we, it's got a commentary, so... People underwrite commentaries as features. People say, oh, it only has a commentary. There's no, like, feature-length documentary. There's no, like, like 15 or 10-minute featurettes. But commentaries are an amazing plus to a lot of films. And I think a lot of people overlook them. Especially where they become so commonplace. When commentaries were first around, it was on laser discs and stuff, and we first started getting commentaries, it was a really cool and a really novel approach. We'd actually listen to them and stuff, but nowadays, where they're just on so many, we tend to overlook them, and we really shouldn't because there are some amazing commentaries that can give us so much more enjoyment and depth to the uh, films that we're watching. This one's one I really like this one actually, and it's got Ginger Rogers and George Rapp, and of course, Jean Tierney because she's in all of them. Uh, Black Widow. Again, with this one here, we've got another commentary. We've got Gene Rogers at 20th Century Fox featurette and Gene Tierney, Final Curtain for Noir Icon featurette. I don't think I've actually watched that. Uh, so, again, it's great stuff. And it's very rare to see Ginger Rogers 
in a uh, in one of these films here. You, we mostly know her from like a lot of the uh, song and dance stuff that she did. At least I do. Uh, next up is uh, Betty Grable, and again Victor Mature because he did a couple of these. And Carl Landis in I Wake Up Screaming. Isn't that a fantastic title? And don't you just love the covers of these here? I Wake Up Screaming. This is, these are gorgeous, gorgeous, like film noirish looking covers. Again, we have Nato Commentary, Daddy Deleted Scene, Hot Spot Opening Title, Unit Photography, Gallery Poster, Gallery Production Stills Gallery. Uh, really, really cool. Next up we have Dan Andrews in and Jane Wyatt and another Elia Kazan uh, one and that is Boomerang. I think this one recently or was recently announced to be coming on Blu-ray or came on Blu-ray but definitely worth checking out. Spam calls. They shouldn't be allowed on cell phones. For a long time they weren't. Next up is one that actually has well, it's got Richard Basehart. So we got a few different people. This one and that is House on Telegraph Hill. I love these covers. Just look at these covers. I think they're gorgeous, gorgeous covers. Again, we got a commentary. Eddie Muller, there's a lot of these commentaries on there actually. Posters gallery on set production stills, unit photography. This one here was directed by Robert Wise, who of course did a ton of films, including the first uh, Star Trek film, the motion picture. And uh Oh my god, what's the name of that movie? Hey, Hind, I'm thinking of a science fiction movie. Oh, classic. Kaluta. Kaluta. The silver alien creature that doesn't move till the end. What's the name of the movie again? It's blanking on me. I can picture it. Keanu Reeves made a horrible, horrible remake of this film. Oh. The, 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 the so still, yeah, they are so still. Thank you. See, she's my, she's great with these things. See, I totally blank on these things sometimes. Uh, but uh, Robert Wise was the director of that, and uh, this is a fantastic movie here. So look at that. <clears throat> Film noirs, I think, worth collecting just for the beautiful covers alone. Uh, of course, there's another one with uh, Dana Andrews, uh, Linda Darnell, who did a few. She was in Zorro's Black Whip. That's a uh, serial, which actually is pretty cool. And Alice Faye, of course, in. Fallen Angel. Again, we got some great features on here as well. We got another commentary with Eddie Mueller and uh, Dan Andrews' daughter, Susan Andrews. And uh, of course, he have a few uh, still galleries on here. No, I should be looking to the stills galleries more because I've heard that uh, I'm missing out by, uh, by not watching some of those. And uh, here's one that I do remember actually watching uh, a while back and it really stuck with me. I really did like this one. <clears throat> And that is uh, stars Michael Rennie, who is actually from the day the Earth stood still. So if I probably looked at this one here, they'd probably have that written on the back of it somewhere. But, but it is Dangerous Crossing. Uh, Jan Crane and uh, Michael Rennie. Michael Rennie plays a doctor. Uh, I think he plays a doctor. That's right. Pretty sure he does. It's basically, it's, it's like Kevin B. 13. Uh, she gets, you know, she's a newlywed. She gets aboard this... Uh, this boat going on a cruise with her uh, with her husband she wakes up and her husband's not only not there but no one remembers him being there they think she's crazy she does, they don't believe her husband exists or that she was ever married uh, Michael Rennie tries to help her uh, with that or does he so you gotta find out you gotta watch it it's a really really good one and yes it has the uh, the commentary uh, this time by Aubrey Solomon uh, Peril at Sea Charing a Dangerous Crossing feature so it's got a feature on that one and uh, if you're a real big fan of things like uh, like Twilight Time, this one actually has the isolated soundtrack on there. So that's something that Twilight Time is big on. Uh, this one here is a Joan Crawford, Dean Andrews, Henry Fonda one, and that is Daisy Kenyon. So again, it's another part of the Fox film where set uh, audio commentary by Forrest Hirsch, journeyman to artist, auto premature at 20th Century Fox documentary. I haven't watched that actually. Life in the Shadows and Making of Daisy Kenyon. So it could be some interesting stuff on there. I really got to check out that Oliver Premier one. I know he was a very, very uh, polarizing figure in the Hollywood. He didn't mind saying what he what he meant. He was one of those type of guys. I really like that. So Daisy Kenyon. <clears throat> Next up is one of my favorite early noirs, and actually starred, uh, well, later noirs really, uh, Marilyn Monroe and Joseph Cotton. And you should know what it is by now. 
that is the movie Niagara. Some people wouldn't cons don't consider this noir. I do, and I think Marilyn Monroe did a fantastic job in this movie here. Joseph Cotton's amazing. This Joseph Cotton is one of my favorite actors because one of my favorite movies of all time is the Hitchcock film Shadow It Out, where he played Uncle Charlie, and I really really love that movie. Uh, this one also has you know restoration comparison. Uh, not a lot of features on here. I would really love to have a Blu-ray of this one. Actually, this is a fantastic film. And I'd love to see more features on it. And here we got another Fox film. Right? This one was before they were numbered. I'm guessing because there's no number on it. And it has, uh, and it is, Ida Lapuna, uh, Richard Woodmark, because, you know, he's he's the man in Roadhouse. And no, it's not the uh, Patrick Swayze one. Again, another Fox film noir. Uh, we got like another commentary with Kim Morgan and Eddie Mueller on this one. Uh, Killer Instincts, which Richard Widmark and Ida Lupina at 20th Century Fox featurette. So, very, very cool. Somebody recently uh, mentioned in the, on one of my videos that I don't keep the movies up long enough so that blur a bit when you're watching. So I'm trying to, uh, to rectify that. Uh, and I really do like when somebody uh, gives me like uh, something, tells me something like that. So that it actually helps me uh, make my videos better for you guys. Here's one that I really want to get the Blu-ray of. I know that Arrow Video recently put out a Blu-ray of this one and another film that I love called Glass Key. Uh, the book, I really love reading those books. Uh, and this is uh, the Blue Dahlia. This one is a uh, it's a British release, actually. I don't know if we have a release over here in uh, North America. But uh, it's got, of course, Alan Ladd, Veronica Lake, William Bendix, just fantastic cast, written by Raymond Chandler, of course, and directed by George Marshall. Uh, features on here... English mono and mono soundtrack and subtitles. Uh, but yeah, it says if I like this movie, I would love the uh, uh, the Touch of Evil. Well, we'll get to that. Uh, the Universal Noir Collection, which I only have one of, uh, is uh, right here, and that is one of my f uh, one of my favorites actually. This one's doesn't get talked about enough. I really think it should. It's a fantastic film. I really recommend you guys check it out. And it's Ray Milland and Charles Lawton. Yeah, two fantastic actors in The Big Clock. I may not be the most, you know, intriguing title, but it, this is a really good movie. Uh, this one kept me, uh, it's one of the ones, I hate these things. Let me do them like this. You know, do this little to the inside. It's a hard find for me, but I love this movie. It's it is really a fantastic watch. You watch it more than once. It's a, it's a good one. It is. Professor recommended. Next up is one that I think a friend of mine upgraded for, uh, for me on Blu-ray. So I think I have the Blu-ray edition of this one now as well. And uh, that is Double Indemnity. Uh, just a really cool movie. Uh, Based on actually kind of based on a true story, uh, it's got a uh, Fred McMurray, Barbara Stanwyck. Barbara Stanwyck is oh, she was amazing in these things. I love Barbara Stanwyck. Edward G. Robinson, uh, just an incredible cast, incredibly well done film. Uh, it's got some great features on it. There's an introduction by Robert Osborne from TCM. We got Shadows of Suspense, Plunge into the World of 1940s Hollywood with a vivid look at a movie masterpiece. The commentary with Richard Chekhov. Uh, another commentary with Lem Dobbs and uh, film historian Nick Ridman. And then the uh, second, this actually gives you the uh, 1933, 19, blah, blah, 1973 edition of this movie. There's a TV movie made for, uh, for uh, Double Indemnity starring Richard Crenna. So, again, just very, very cool, very well done. I am almost certain that I have this one on Blu ray. I know that my good friend Sammy Faligar gave me a. Uh, a Blu-ray edition of one of these type of films. I wasn't sure if it was this one or if it was Touch of Evil. It's gonna kill me until I can find those things out. Speaking of which though, a movie that I have a couple of editions of is this one here. Touch of Evil. One I forgot. So I had to bring this one over. It's uh, Orson Welles of course. Charles Sandheston has got a fantastic opening sequence, and of course Janet Lee is in this. Uh, they got the restored version, the theatrical version, and the preview version. Uh, a ton of stuff on here as well. 
just amazing stuff. And uh, it's got this like uh, archives thing in there. Which I won't open up right now because I want to get. I don't want to make this video too long. Next up are a couple box sets that I that I really I'm really glad I got them. And uh, first up is the Bad Girls of Film Noir Volume One, and uh, this one has the Killer That Stalked New York. Who started that one? Evelyn Keys, right? Yeah. Uh, Two of a Kind with that. Evan O'Brien, Elizabeth Scott. She's in a few of these actually. Bad for Each Other, Charlton Eston, and again Elizabeth Scott and the Glass Wall, which is I think to 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 Anne Robinson, I think. Yeah. Gloria Graham's in that one. Uh, Gloria Graham. I, and I was watching the Logan Toxic video, and he's got this uh, magazine, kind of like called this uh, Time Life or something like Film Noir magazine and he mentions a really interesting story of so on Gloria Graham I don't want to give it away so check out Logan Toxic's out of print uh, DVDs and you know rare, out of print rare DVD Blu-ray video uh, it's actually really cool was that on that one or was that on the other one I'm not sure it was on one of his videos on that one or was on the or, no no it wasn't, on that, it wasn't on that one it was on the uh, the latest one he put out the one with the jungle book book hunt on it it's on that one so uh this is actually really good though. Bad yeah, girls. Next up is one. I actually have watched a lot of this one. These two actually. Uh, this is volume two. There's only two volumes out. Night Editor, One Girl's Confession, Women's Prison, and Overexposed. I think there's more Elizabeth Scott on this one there as well. I, feel like I know the Ilipinas in Women's Prison. But uh, we have here we got Janice Carter in, in one. And we got uh, Cleo Moore in another. Cleo Moore in two of these actually. Uh, I really like Cleo Moore. I wish I could. I like the more of her. Actually. I'm not sure how much she's done, but I really, really enjoyed her in these two uh, sets. I really recommend these. There's, you know, there's not much on these except for like uh, audio commentaries. Like, I think one of them has like a, like this audio commentary. Sorry, at least like trailers. Uh, one has like a, an all-star theater uh, episode from a, which is another TV show or something that I didn't watch. Yeah, Tear Moore on Two of a Kind. The payoff all star theater, so they get a couple of the all star theater things on there, but great sets. I do recommend them if you can pick them up. Uh, they're usually, I don't think they're that expensive, unless these are these aren't a printout, I guess. Uh, I hope not. These are really good. If they are, you get a chance to get them, you know, get them. They're really, really uh, great sets. And then we got a couple more sets to show you, so let's start off with volume one. I need to get the rest of these, I'm not sure how easy they are to get anymore, but this is a uh, Film Noir Classic Collection, Volume 1, Five Timeless Suspense Thrillers. And we have uh, some of my favorites on there, actually. We have uh, Out of the Past, The Asphalt Jungle, The Setup, Gun Crazy, and Murder My Sweet. Uh, Murder My Sweet's a great one. Uh, of course, that's uh, you know, the Raymond Chandler one. That's got, of course, Dick Powell in it. He's starting that one. And uh, But the one that I really remember watching so much... I was younger was this one here, uh, Rip Robert Mitchum and Jane Greer in uh, Out of the Past. I really, really like this. And all these here have like, you know, like those other sets. You got commentaries on them. I just realized I think I may have two copies of the Asphalt Jungle. If I do, I'll... No, no, I'm thinking of a different movie. So, but this, again, uh, Sterling Hayden. Uh, great stuff. Introduction by uh, John Huston. Commentary by Arthur Film Noir Special. Author, film noir specialist, Drew Casper. Some amazing stuff. I really do strongly recommend these film noir box sets. They're really good. Uh, Warner Brothers put these out and they just did an amazing job. That's, you can see the covers of each one right there. Next up is uh, the volume that I was really, really looking forward to. And that was volume two. And you'll find it one in a second. So there's five movies on here as well. So first I'll show you the covers of them. And it's a uh, crossfire, amazing film. Uh, Born to Kill, Clash by Night, Dillinger, and one of my all time favorite film noirs, one of my favorite movies actually of all time, is this one right here. And it's uh, The Narrow Margin. I do not know how many times I've watched this. Uh, this is a fantastic film. It's set on a train basically. Uh, we got a. Oh God. I don't know if Fleischer directed this, right? Yeah, so. Charles McGraw, basically, he plays this cop at the beginning of it. Like, there's uh, these two cops, and they're taking this uh, 
girl that's supposed to be like this uh, gangster's mall. Basically, she's going to be do turning state evidence, and they're going to—they're trying to kill her before she's actually able to do it. So she's got to ride on a train with uh, with the cops to uh, to go there. And right at the beginning, the uh, this spoiler alert—I guess that her one of the two cops gets gets murdered, gets killed, gets shot. Uh, it's a great start to the film. Uh, it's very suspenseful, very, very well done. And what's even better, if you can get this, like in this edition, I, I really recommend it because I watched this movie one day and I liked it so much right afterwards. I said, well, William Friedkin, a uh, favorite director of mine, a really great director, did the commentary. And the commentary was fascinating. And this commentary was amazing. So not only is the Narrow Margin a fantastic film to watch just on its own, but it has a great commentary that I strongly recommend. When it comes to commentaries and people ask me what some of my favorite commentaries is, are, Friedkin's uh, commentary on, on Near Margin is one of my favorites. Next up is the Volume 3. There's something really cool in this one. I say if you're going to get into film noir, you got to get Volume 3. <laughs> and uh, again, five timeless suspense thrillers. And uh, got Border Incident, His Kind of Woman, Lady in the Lake, Dangerous Ground, On Dangerous Ground, The Racket, all great films, but what you really need. And uh, I'll probably watch this as Ride, actually, because yeah, I don't think you've seen this one either. Is this fantastic bonus disc, Film Noir Bringing Darkness to Light. It is an incredible documentary on the film noir genre. It will make you start collecting. It will make you go out and search these down uh, like it did me. And uh, I just wanted to see all these. That's got some great like special features, like five like vintage Crime Doesn't Pay shorts. So there's a series like done like uh, before films called it Crime Doesn't Pay. A <laughs> man doesn't pay in these... Uh, and these shorts here, but uh, it's great, and this documentary is amazing. So, a film noir for bringing darkness to light. You've probably seen it on TCM. If you haven't, really, you do owe it to yourself to get out and grab volume three of film noir classic collection. It's a really, really good volume. Two more things to show you guys, and then we'll end this video here. Uh, these two are apparently out of print, I didn't know that. Uh, but uh, first up is the Columbia Pictures Film Noir Classics Volume One. Uh, some great stuff on this. We got some introductions by uh, some classic directors here as well. The uh, Snipers on here, the Big Heat, which is my one of my favorites. It's just an amazing movie with Lee Marvin and Glenn Ford. Uh, Lee Marvin does a great job. We got Gloria Graham's in this one. Uh, we got Five Against the House, another cool one. The Lineup and Murder by Contract. It's a very uh, more of a gritty one. Uh, Martin Scorsese basically talks on Murder by Contract, The Sniper and the Big Heat. Michael Mann talks on the Big Heat. Influence of Noir with Christopher Nolan. Uh, is on here as well, and there's commentaries with Eddie Mueller uh, and James Elroy, you know, the crime out there on the lineup, and the commentary with Eddie Mueller on the sniper, just uh, really, really cool, amazing stuff. These are very, very good sets. So I just opened up one of them just to give you guys like a look at what these sets look like. And it's actually pretty, you know, yeah, like the shoot out here. Classic, like Glenn Ford picture on the back. Uh, my dad actually was named after Glenn Ford, which was my uh, my grandmother's my grandmother's uh, favorite actor. Uh, even spelled with two ends, the same as like Glenn Ford. Next up, and the last but definitely not least, is Film Noir Classics Volume Two. It is another great edition. On here we got Human Desire, Pushover, The Brothers Rico, Nightfall, and the classic City of Fear. Uh, just a great movie with Vince Ed Edwards on here. Uh, some amazing stuff. We've got Martin Scorsese on The Brothers Rico, Paul Paranoia with Christopher Nolan, Terror and Desire with Emily Mortimer, and the original theatrical trailers, of course. Uh, Christopher Nolan, as much as I rag on the Batman films, I don't mind them as much as I say I do. Uh, but uh, these sets here, Christopher Nolan had a lot to do with these sets getting made. And so big props to Christopher Nolan, who's a huge film noir fan. For helping get the uh, Columbia Pictures film noir sets, there are more of them, but I only had the first two. Uh, haven't been able to find the rest. I don't know if they were done like on demand or, or if they just didn't come around in my stores. But those first two actually came in Costco, and they were Costco under twenty dollars each, which was really really good for those there, especially considering apparently they go for over a hundred dollars now, which is insane. But uh, they're worth. It. I mean, they're fantastic movies. And even if I was like buying this, would this be something that I would probably buy for a hundred bucks? I probably would. Uh, Twenty dollars a movie, that's not bad. Uh, at least fifty anyway. But, uh, but they're classic films. That's my film noir uh, collection, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. And for me right now, it is definitely after twenty minutes of talking, time for tea.
Thank you so much for staying for the after credit sequence. Uh, I've got a couple other things to show you guys. A couple Cactus Choice uh, Picnic. These are, these are what company did these here. Uh, Columbia Pictures, I think, did these. The Film Foundation Collections. So a bonus for you guys if you uh, if you stayed. Uh, these are probably still easy finds. I'm not sure if they're still around or not, but I I did have to grab these up when I found them. And first one was the films of Rita Hayworth. It's a five disc collection, and again, like much this is much in the vein of the uh, film noir classics. Uh, these here are kind of like uh, the uh, introductions by uh, by different directors. So the first one here is uh, Cover Girl, and that one's uh, got an introduction by Baz Luhrmann, of course. Uh, we have uh, Patricia Clark talking about Tonight and Every Night. Uh, Martin Scorsese and Baz Luhrmann talk about the classic film Gilda, uh, which uh, kind of does fit into the whole like film noir aspect in a way, I would consider it, actually. Uh, the Miss Sadie Thompson with an introduction, of course, by Patricia Clarkson, and the only one that doesn't have an introduction is, uh, it's, you know, the classic uh, with Charles Lawton, Salon. So, uh, Salon? Salon? Great, uh, you know, great cast in these here. Uh, I'll open it up to show you guys. Tight one, so let's see. There. Rita Hayworth was an amazing, beautiful woman. And uh, it's an incredible set. So if you find these around, I do recommend them. There are some crazy, great sets. And uh, the other one I picked up, and this is a long time ago. Uh, that I grabbed these here, so uh, that's why I always wonder if they're still in print or not. You never know with these things. Is uh, a director that I actually really like, and I don't have any of the criterions of his. I really wish I did. Uh, and that is the uh, Samuel Fuller collection. I uh, love this here. Uh, again, we have some great stuff on here. We got it happened in Hollywood it's on disc one. Uh, Richard Dix is in that one, of course. Uh, Fay Ray, amazing, beautiful Fay Ray. We got Adventures in Sahara on disc two. Uh, this one was Paul Kelly and C. Henry Gordon. Disc 3 is Power of the Press. There's a special feature. Samuel Fuller's Search for Truth with Tim Robbins is on here. Uh, another, you know, fantastic one. Shock Proof is on here, which is a really cool one, actually. With uh, Colonel Wild, Colonel, Colonel Wild and Trisha Knight. Uh, disc uh, 5 has Scandal Sheet. A special feature, Samuel Fuller's Storyteller. Uh, with basically Martin Scorsese, Curtis Hansen, Tim Robbins... Um, you know, a bunch of people talk about the life and work of uh, Samuel Fuller. Uh, number six is the, of course, the classic, the Crimson Kimono. Uh, Glenn Corbett is in that one, and Curtis Hansen, the culture of the Crimson Kimono. And seven discs, yeah, seven discs is Martin Scorsese talking about Underworld USA, which is the uh, seventh film in the collection. Uh, Samuel Fuller was a guy that started, like, uh, writing films, doing films for, uh, for companies. And when he realized, when he looked at the way that they were doing some of his films, he said, I can do this better myself. So he became like an indie director. Uh, he decided to like, there he is right there, to do his own stuff and just say, okay, shag it. I'm going to make the, uh, I'm going to make movies myself and I'll make them better. And he really did make some fantastic films. Uh, let's see. It opens up to an incredible seven to set. I actually managed to find this one at a record, my one of my local record stores a few years back for under $10. I could not pass this up. I'm a huge Samuel Fuller fan. So, uh, it was a great, great set to have. And uh, it's one of the, definitely a pride of my collection. The Samuel Fuller collection is really good. Uh, those collector's choice ones, anytime I can see any of those things, I definitely pick them up. Uh, so much amazing stuff to, uh, to look into. So there we go. That's my after credit sequence for this one. So what am I going to be talking about next? I'm not going to tell you because I'm not quite sure. But, Keep an eye out. I'm not sure if I'm going to get another video done tonight or not, but I'm just trying to uh, upload a few. So, uh, basically, if you want to watch when I day type thing, you can kind of do that. And uh, there we go. This one's going to go for 30 minutes. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this one. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I really do have tea over there waiting for me. It is time for tea.